Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tamika and today I want to share with you all of my plans for June. And let me tell you, there are a lot. I hope you're having a wonderful week and it is so nice to have you back here again today. It has been a few weeks since I've made a video. I've been a little bit busy and when I get busy, the first thing to go seems to be YouTube. So. I am making some time to film because I love sharing with you all of my plans and things and let me tell you I have a lot to get through today. We are heading away again in the middle of the month actually for a few weeks so I really only have a short amount of sewing time too but there is so much that I want to get done before then. This time we are heading up north so we currently are in Brisbane, which is kind of about halfway up on the east coast of Australia. I have a map behind me, I could probably pull that down and point it out to you. But on the east coast of Australia, we're heading up to the northern tip of the country. We will be gone for three to four weeks. We haven't really decided and are a bit flexible on the start and finish dates. But um, yeah, really looking forward to that. It'll be a four wheel driving trip and to fairly remote places so yes very excited but before then I have a lot of sewing that I want to get done now I'm going to get stuck into this pile of things in front of me um, but before I do don't forget you can always like comment and subscribe to my channel uh, it really helps me out <laughs> so without further ado let's have a look at these plans so first up is a fabric that I am in love with. It is this one here. So this is a linen cotton blend from The Linen. I have been sent this one along with the pattern that I'm going to show you soon to write a blog post for them. Um, but this is the same company that I purchased my window pane check linen fabric from. I think I spoke about that one first in my April plans video. Um, but you will see it made up in my May Makes video because I finished that one up last month. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is from the same company and I have been doing a little bit of work with them recently. This one is the, I think it's the wine colour. Yes, wine linen cotton blend. I would describe it as definitely like a wine colour but probably on the brown end of the spectrum like it's not a particularly pink or red fabric it's definitely more in the it's like a red leaning to brown <laughs> I'm so good at explaining colors to you um, but yes this one here I am making the paper cut patterns axis dress so Delinum have just recently stocked the paper cut patterns um, which is amazing the Axis dress is one that I keep seeing on Instagram. It keeps popping up and I love it every time that I see it. It's a fairly straight through sort of cut with a slit at the bottom. This is actually the view that I'm making. There is also an A-line version and you can actually just make the skirt as well. What I love about this one, which is really interesting, the tie at the waist there is actually a wrap around from the back. So it like crosses over at the back and wraps around to the front there. Now I don't think I have made a paper cut pattern before so I am very much interested to see how it's drafted and how the instructions are um, but I've heard reasonable things so we'll see. The sizes are numbered 1 to 8 and it goes up to a bust of 46 and a half inches and a hip of 48.8 but yes I'm very excited for that one. It should be a nice little dress that I can dress up or wear a little bit more casually as well. Next on the list is the Adrian blouse by Friday Pattern Companies. Again, I haven't actually made anything from this company before, so I'm interested to see how it fits and how it's all kind of put together. Um, this one, again, I've seen it all over Instagram and for the longest time refused to make it. <laughs> I get a bit that way about things. It's like if something's popular, I just don't want anything to do with it until it's like past its 
popularity peak and then I'm like, all right, maybe now I'll give it a go. The reason I picked this one was because the fabric that I want to use is this one here, which you might have seen in my fabric haul video. So this is a linen jersey. Uh, it is quite lightweight and fairly sheer. It's not going to show under these lights, I don't think. But I wanted to make something that I could layer under other things. And I love the sleeves on the Adrian blouse. They're those like really full voluminous billowy sleeves. And that was kind of exactly what I wanted for layering. So that fabric doesn't have very good recovery when it gets stretched. So with this pattern, I'm trying to decide how much I size up or if I size up at all. So currently my measurements put me kind of between an extra small and a small. And then it gives me finished garment measurements which have a negative ease. So I don't know how much negative ease I want. I'm thinking I'll probably just make a small and hope that it doesn't stretch too much and look ridiculous over the course of the day. This pattern goes up to a size 4X, which is a maximum of a 54 inch bust and 57 inch I should have all of the bits that I need for that one and hopefully it will be a fairly quick sew. I find that knit tops usually are, so we'll see. And we'll see how well we can work with that fabric. That fabric, by the way, is from Potter & Co. To go with the Adrian blouse, I am thinking a little jumpsuit. And I found in my pattern stash this vintage new look pattern, which is number 6227. Uh, and I want to make you B, so a cute little short jumpsuit. Um, now this one looks fairly simple. I always have trouble with jumpsuits in the length and I can never seem to get it right. So I have a little bit of work to do with this pattern. Uh, I have like held it up to myself and I definitely need to add some length. I'm really bad at like knowing how much is enough and how much is too much. So I'll more than likely add too much. But anyway, uh, because it's a fairly simple shape, I think it should be reasonably easy to do, she said before she even attempted it. I think this one will be really cute to layer with that Adrian blouse or just to wear on its own. It has cute little tie straps um, and is a fairly loose, relaxed sort of fit. Just looks really comfy. Now the fabric for this one is a fabric that I picked up on sale a while ago now. Um, and it is this one here, which is the paprika linen from the fabric store. I think this one will make a cute little jumpsuit. It'll be nice and cool, easy breezy. And we'll see if I can get it done in time. <laughs> Next on my list is another fabric that I got in my most recent haul. It is this one here, which is the Cotton Eyelet in Sage Green. I was super inspired. I saw a Cotton Eyelet Sage brush top and I fell in love. So I cut it out almost immediately <laughs> um, and can't wait to sew it. But the Sage brush top is another Friday Pattern Company pattern and the sagebrush top is like a cute little puff sleeve blouse with like a little frill across the front. I'm going to widen that frill a little bit because I don't know I just feel like a tiny little frill isn't really my style but if it was a little bit wider I think I will love it and I love the puff sleeves. I don't think I have enough puff sleeve tops in my wardrobe. <laughs> I need a few more like easy to wear dressy casual tops. You know what I mean? <laughs> I need your help with button choice on the next one and whatever I don't use on this one there's another top later on that I need help choosing for as well. <laughs> but this one is 
a Minerva fabric gifted in exchange for a blog post. Again, I have cut this already and just need to get to sewing it. But it is this fabric here. Now, from memory, because I have nothing written in front of me, as per usual, you know how it is. I'm pretty sure this is an art gallery fabric. It will be linked below, so if I'm wrong, the details are down there. But it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an art gallery fabric, and it is a cotton poplin with a beautiful line drawing floral design. The background is actually like an off-white. The lines, now that I've got them under light, I think are actually a like an olive green. They do appear more on like that brown sort of tone in the daylight. I am going to make with this the Gilbert top from Helen's Closet. So the Gilbert top is a little button up you can do a view with ties or without, and then there's short sleeve or long sleeve. I am going for the short sleeve version without the tie. This one, the pattern goes up to a size 30, which is a bust measurement of 58 and a hip measurement also of 58. Interesting. Now, button choices. I have a few different ones here. I have five different choices. Leave a comment down below which buttons you like the most. So that's number one. Number two is the coconut. Number three is the two-tone. Number four is the one that has a little bit of shine when I work out which way it goes. And then mother of pearl. So let me know what you think about those down in the comments. I would love to hear because I can't decide. Maybe it'll be the sort of thing that I will just kind of intuitively know once I've actually made the thing. So maybe I should make it first. Anyway, moving on. This one is very much a dream if I can get to it. Um, this I would like this again for our cape trip I just don't know if I'm gonna get time to get to it because again the pattern needs a little bit of alteration to make it work for me but this is the fabric that I'm thinking it's a kind of like a chambray with little polka dots on it I think this one's actually a tensile blend um, again I love tensile and I'm pretty sure when I saw that on the label, I was immediately drawn to it and just had to get some. It is now several years old and I haven't made anything with it. And it has started to fade where the sunlight has been getting to it. So that is very disappointing. So there are a few like faded patches on it and like lines where the folded edge is. Um, but I'm hoping to be able to cut around those places. Now, the pattern is a vintage pattern. It's the Nicole's 6587, and it is a wrap dress. They've got it here on the picture as having it reversible. I actually don't know if I would wear it reversible, but I love the wrap style of it anyway. And like a nice casual easy throw on dress like this is perfect for like road trips and outback adventures. <laughs> it is a petite size. Uh, they go petite, small and medium. I would actually be a small in this one, but I don't have the small size. So I will need to adjust the pattern. Like I said, I I think I can possibly get away with just adding a little bit of width and not worrying too much about the length of things. I will have to double check though uh, and it's kind of just a dream at the moment because I really don't think I'm going to have enough time to get to it. This one is one that is known and loved around the sewing community and that is the Olia shirt from Paper Theory. 
I don't know if this is again one of those times where it's popular so I just don't make it but I finally caved and I really want to make this one. I love the style lines of it. It has a, is that called a grown on sleeve where it just is all part of, I don't know. Basically the sleeve extends from the center front down the sleeve and then it's a separate panel just below that with pockets like all set in. I have some corduroy to make this in. Like a nice lightweight fine corduroy. Again, I have cut this one out already. I've had a bit of a productive time in preparing some of these things and cutting them out and getting them ready to go so that hopefully I can just sit down and sew one after the other after the other. But yes, this is the fabric. It's fairly lightweight, so it is reasonably flexible, which is why I thought it might work for a shirt. And I just love the idea of a corduroy shirt. So we'll see how it goes, obviously. It's an off-white color and it's super fine whale. I don't know if you can see that there, but I'm excited. I have chosen buttons for this one, but I'm not 100% set on them, so those plans might change. But they are these ones here that I picked up from Spotlight a while ago. I think they were on clearance at that point, so I don't know if you'll be able to get them anymore. But they have like a really cute little design. I think it's burned into them. They're a wood button. And yeah, cute little design there. And last but not least is another fabric that is from Minerva. Uh, again, it was gifted in exchange for a post and it is this lovely fabric. This one is again a cotton poplin. This one though is a Robert Kaufman design and it is super cute with flamingos and palm trees and yeah, I love it. So I had really wanted to make another button up shirt for myself out of that one just a short sleeve one again uh, but when the fabric arrived I showed my husband and he made noises like he really liked it and I said would you like me to make you a top and he said yes <laughs> so I as much as I love this fabric and would love a top in it for myself I'm going to be making him a button-up shirt. I might just have to get more fabric, hey? <laughs> I have chosen the Fairfield button-up by Thread Theory. I asked for some suggestions for men's button-up pa um, patterns for slim fit shirts because my husband is tall and slim. And this one came up a few times. So that's the one I'm going with. We are going to see. I have actually made a pattern from Thread Theory before and found it easy to follow, um, drafted really well. So I'm expecting good things from this one and I've heard good things about it too. So basically it is a more slim fit button up. Uh, the pattern has a back yoke with or without pockets and then you can do a roll up sleeve with like a little button tab or with like proper cuffs at the bottom. I'm actually using the short sleeve add on. I think it was free. They have a bunch of extra add ons for this pattern, which is incredible. They have different pocket shapes. They have the short sleeve. They have different collar types from memory. Yeah, loads of extras for this pattern. So we're going with a short sleeve version. Everything else is going to stay the same. I have taken my husband's measurements, but I haven't actually compared them to the size chart to know what I'm going to be making for him just yet. But they've got two weeks, plenty of time. <laughs> anyway, that is a roundup of what I hope to get made in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> we'll see how I go. Wish me luck. 
Uh, and I will see you next time. Bye. Right. It is this one here. And then I can unfold it. It's not unfolding. Anyway, it's this one here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see all that little fluff when I opened this out. That's not right. Maybe I should have done the buttons on the fabric. Let's try that. I've got two more to show you. How am I going to get through all of this? I'm going to be sewing like a thing a day if I have, if I want any chance of getting there. Bless you, Carrie. While we're away, while, while, oh my gosh. I've made him some t-shirts and things, but I haven't made him like nicer clothes. I think they're nice t-shirts. <laughs>